Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. We're feeling so happy today. <gasps> Yay! I feel so good, and I'm gonna tell you why, and we have a lot to talk about. I know yesterday's video with the big old lobster, <gasps> that seafood boil was crazy, and I know a lot of people were like, I don't know if I like this. Well, I don't know if I like it either. So, today we're doing something that I love, and it's something I'm known for, and I also got a special treat, so I'm so excited. We're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause we're eating our bees. That's right. Chingy, chingy, chingy. Chingalingaling. We are eating Arby's, but look at the sign. What does it say? <gasps> it says red lobster. Oh! <laughs> it says red robin. I'm so sorry. My mind. Okay. <laughs> I said it so confidently, didn't I? Inside my red robin bag, we have Arby's. But okay, let me tell you what I got. This is the treat. Hold on. <sighs> okay, so we got my famous potato cakes. And they're famous to me because they're my favorite. No one ever eats them, but I do. We got, that almost looked like a little weenie. I'm like, what the hell, stick it out of there. Look at this little, little I, oh, and I, oh. That is a spicy buffalo chicken slider. I got mozzarella sticks. Have I done enough of those in my life? Probably not. And I went to the gym today. I feel so good. I'm ready to lose weight and get healthy. And this is okay. Trust me, I'm gonna explain it all to you. And in here I have <gasps> loaded curly fries. Cheesy curly fries. Way better than Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box can like, bye bye. I don't even, I never crave Jack in the Box. I don't like Jack in the Box. It doesn't taste good to me. And who did I collab with recently? Eric the Electric. He was like, oh, I love Jack in the Box French fries. And I'm like, I don't like anything from there except they're like midnight munchies for people who smoke weed. And they discontinued it, so I have no reason to go back. And I don't even smoke weed, but it tasted really good. Okay, so what am I missing from Arby's? I love, what is it? Fill in the blank, fill in the blank. What am I, what do I love from Arby's? Onion rings. Ooh, they don't have any more. And it's not that they're discontinued, they just don't have them in this location. So they have one of the other Arby's, but I feel like driving there. So instead, I got onion rings from Red Robin, yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh, they remembered, I didn't have to ask, they give me spicy Chipotle Southwest sauce, yes. I thought I saw that at the bottom of the bag, but I didn't say anything, because I'm like, it's probably there, and ah. anyways, oh, and I got some ranch too. Oh, I should have got some extra Southwest Chipotle ranch sauce, it's so good. All right, let me show you these onion rings. They are amazing and delicious. Oh, they are the best onion rings on the market. And I, well, in fast food. This isn't fast food, this is a sit down family restaurant. But the burgers are delicious. I love, I love Red Robin. Check out my newest Red Robin video on Nikocado 2. I actually just posted a video there two days ago. If you didn't see it, a lot of people didn't see it. They're probably not getting notified or they're like, is this real? Yes, I still post on all my channels. My main channel, once or twice a week. Nikocado 2, once or twice a week. And this channel every day. So, but go see that video. Um, why am I mentioning that? I forget why. Oh, yeah, because on that channel I had Red Robin. Nick, edit it in. <gasps> Bam! There we go. There's my Red Robin. And you get the story as to why I dropped out of school. That's a very good story. And I... It's heartfelt. Anyways, um, let me get everything set up and to make a beautiful thumbnail. And we have another surprise on the way, which you're probably gonna see in the thumbnail, and you're probably gonna complain because I do my thumbnail not good enough, or it's gross, but I enjoy making it gross. Guess what, I'm not reading comments. Well, no, I am, because I need to shout some of you out in this video who left supporting comments to me. We're gonna get into all that. Let's get everything set up, because I'm starving. Are you ready for my eating show? Eh, I'm so excited to be here. I feel so good to be back, even though I was gone for literally 12 hours. One, two, and three. Bam! We're back home. Oh wait, no, what we need to be singing is we love cheese. <gasps> da -da we love cheese. Uh, the return of the Alfredo. We love cheese. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. Alfredo, we love cheese. Oh, these are gonna be so crunchy. Listen. Mmm. -hmm. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Oh, this looks so good. I'm telling you, these onion rings are the best. Mmm. 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 How many guys are watching this without socks? I see you. How many guys are watching this in bed? Really hungry. I see you. Got my ice over here. We love cheese. Yes, we do. <gasps> ooh, ooh, we love cheese. Cheers to a wonderful eating show. <laughs> it's squeakier than that than the darn bottle I used to have. <gasps> Let's try my sandwich. Ooh. Ooh, it's so creamy and cheesy and spicy. Look at that spice weenie. <laughs> Ooh, it's going for a swim. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's so messy. Ooh. But Messi is good. Mm. 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 That's spicy too. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Spicy. The chicken is tender. The bun is cheesy. Mm. Let's try this cheese here. Cheese fries. Let me get my fork. Do I have a fork? Yes, I do. Mm. Okay, so I feel so much better from everything I went through. It was like a little break. Well, not a little breakdown. Yeah, it was like a little breakdown where I just. I almost was like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. Exercise is so important. Now people are gonna be like, why should I listen to this man as he stuffs his face? So I might as well not say anything. Just let you know, just to let you know, I got help. I'm having someone help me be able to do mukbangs and still be healthy. Because my friend Stephanie Sue gets her levels checked and so does Quantron and B loves life too. And there's ways to post all the time and be healthy. And there's some secrets I didn't even know about. And I think I know about the green juices. We think I know about the um, lots of water. Oh, let's try this. But there's some other stuff too that I didn't even know about, but they're helping me out with. Oh, my God. That is cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. <laughs> I'm done showing you stuff. You can zoom in. Oh, that was so cheesy too. Mm. That was my dietitian coming from up above saying, you don't need that bite. You don't need that bite. Today I went for, for a walk in the graveyard. Now, it took a while to drive there. I want to be by a big graveyard. Orland didn't come with me, I was by myself, and that's because he doesn't like graveyards and things like that with the spooky ghosts and everything. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's still warm, but. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Hot and steamy now. So yeah, I went to a, I went to a walk today. I went for a walk in the graveyard. Now, if you don't know anything about Pennsylvania, this state is very old. This is the, the Declaration of Independence signature signing, co-signing. This is where our founding fathers invented electricity, which was Ben Franklin, right? Watch, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure. Let's have some buffalo slice on this too. Mm. No more showing you the food. I can't afford to lose it. Mmm. 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 The state is very old. And um there's some gravestones 
from like 1700s, 1800s. So many 1800s, and that's spooky. Orland, it, Orland would never want to go to, you guys know Orland's haunted. He speaks to ghosts, they hear him, they see him, they tell him dreams, things happen. He's a little psychic. I told him he should tap into that energy and learn how to be a real medium. He's like, no, I don't want to. I was like, you could predict the lottery numbers so we get rich. He's like, no, I don't want to. I was like, wouldn't you want to know if like your your parents like get in a car crash and you can warn them not to get in the car? He's like, no, I don't want to. It's a very spooky thing, you know what I mean? And obviously I'm thinking of good things, but then the ghosts can tell you bad things. But anyways, long story short, went to the graveyard, old, old cemeteries, old, old tombstones and everything. We love cheese. Oh, yes, we do. <sighs> I was walking around and I asked the ghosts. They don't really speak to me. Here's marinara sauce before you start complaining. <laughs> I see you. Hi. I know. You want me to have marinara? marinara? I do too, if I can open it. Um, I asked the ghost. I said, can you please watch over me and give me a sign that I'm good enough to do what I do? Mmm. Oh. I said, please give me a sign, because sometimes I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not perfect enough. I'm not skinny enough. I don't have enough interesting stories. I'm not good enough to listen to. My voice, people like my voice, well, it's not good enough. I always, I'm so hard on myself. Mmm. My cheese pull wasn't good enough, despite the fact that I just heated this up. I'm not good enough. Mmm, that's so good, though. Mmm. Oh, oh! I love Alfredo. Before you judge, I know this is probably making people really upset right now. See, I'm always. <laughs> I'm not good enough. Oh, oh! See, I'm always. See, I'm always. See, I'm always. See, I'm always. My onion rake. It's, it just joined the graveyard with my cheese fries. See what I mean? I'm so hard on myself and I feel like people are going to criticize that. And that's all you're going to focus on. They're not going to focus on the fact that I made them happy or I ate something good or I told them a good story. Or whatever. They're going to focus on you drop this. And that's all they're going to comment. And it's going to make me feel so sad. So I asked the ghosts in the graveyard today during my walk. I said, now obviously I didn't see any ghosts and nothing happened. But I just thought to myself, I'm like, give me a sign. Give me a sign that I'm on the right track, that I'm okay to be a mukbanger, that I'm okay to be a YouTuber, that I'm okay to be an entertainer and not have to be good enough. I am good enough. Give me a sign, ghosts, please, from the 18th century that invented electricity, please. Mm. We have to tr tr try my Chipotle. Chipotle Ranch is so good. It's the best thing that's ever been invented by humans. Mm. Mm. Oh. So guess what happened while walking through the graveyard? I got a phone call from one of my managers. He helps run this whole channel. Your boy got sponsored. Yay! I haven't had a sponsorship forever. It's been a long, long time <clears throat> since I really had one. I think the last one I remember doing. I just spilled sauce all over me. Ah, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, deep breaths. I could be a YouTuber even though I'm crazy. <laughs> the plate, okay, so let me just show you back here. I have like a, this little ledge, that's my table that I eat on. It should be even bigger now that I think about it. I should move this forward and then move this back. Watch, all the food comes down to the ground to get out of the rain, boom dee boom dee boom There we go, and now I can fit a bigger plate. Oh, see, I'm so smart. Well. Excuse me, um, the plate was hanging off. You know, like those buildings that's like this, and they have 
th like this, and it hangs off in just like a diving board. It looks like a diving board. That's what the plate was on the table, a diving board. And I went like this with my hands, and the plate went up, and it kicked the sauce, and the sauce went everywhere. It's all over the floor. It's all over everywhere. But we have to keep going with the show because the ghosts told me. I was like, give me a sign that I can be a YouTuber even though I'm not perfect and I'm so hard on myself. And my phone rang from one of my managers. I'm like, I haven't heard from this beep. This biz hasn't called me for five months, what? So I answered the phone and she's like, how good news, someone wants to work with you. They really like you. And I'm like, oh, someone likes me. <laughs> oh, I was so excited, you guys. And this is a sponsorship that I actually love and it's gonna be amazing and we're working we're work we're in, in, implementing some key factors that are gonna make this really exciting because I don't want to just do a shout out I don't want to be like hi this is great buy it you know which if I like it you know I'll tell you I want it to be exciting for you because I appreciate you and so we were talking back and forth while I was in the graveyard I'm like what can we do this this that we're brainstorming we have come up with the most amazing idea that involves you okay it's gonna be on my main channel it's airing in september keep your eyes open any video that drops in september on the main channel click it if you're a diehard fan if you're a diehard follower if you're my friend if you're my family hi mom <gasps> click it any video in september because it is you guys are gonna oh, you guys are gonna be so excited hopefully hopefully i hope people like it i don't know i try really hard i try to be special i try to not be too messy and I think this is gonna be a great, something great. Oh, I'm so excited. My spirits just jumped up high and I felt great from the exercise. I had endorphins. I imagined my muscles making new capillaries. It made me so excited. <laughs> we haven't tried my favorite fried potato cake. Mmm. That is good. That is good. Very little meat on this plate, other than the bacon in here. Mmm. People know when I like something, okay? I saw a comment under my Popeyes video, which I know, I know. We're not gonna get into the comments. Everyone's being mean to me, but thank God I do a delete a lot of them. I actually think I'm gonna have one of my friends help be a monitor. Moderator, excuse me. I tried doing that in the past, but then they started delete the people started deleting people's good comments because they didn't like them. It was really bad. But I have a really good family friend who's been someone I can trust. And they know the types of things that can be allowed. But the, the hate, they know that I shouldn't have to see it. If I inject if I inject that information into my brain, I am unstable. I'm imbalanced and it's hard for me to like Say hi to everyone who's happy to see me. You know, I start thinking about those couple of bad apples. So anyways, um, someone left a comment on the Popeyes video. Not the mean one. It was a nice comment. They're like, you know if Nick rolls his eyes back? No, the girl was like, okay, I'm only buying if he rolls his eye back. Rolls his eye back. Let's see what he do. <laughs> Let's see if he rolls it back. And I did. That Popeyes sandwich. Oh, shout out to my friend Honey Eats. She got sponsored by Popeyes. She posted it on her Instagram. All right, I was talking to her about it. She had a fly there and shoot there and they paid for it. And you know, she and I talk all the time. I was like, girl, what are you doing? She's like, I can't tell you, Nick. I'm like, it's me. She's like, no, I had, to, I had to sign an NDA and everything. I'm like, look at you, all legit. I'm like, I didn't have to sign an NDA for Tosh.0. Oh. Now it's TV. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe, the, maybe they like the, the saying, all publicity is good publicity. That's why, well, yeah, I made my vi my video saying they called me a fat pig. Even though he didn't say those words, he did make fun of my weight, but it's okay. <clears throat> mm. It's just water weight. But the water weight is going to go away because I'm exercising every day. Rain or shine. Today, I went out in the rain. That's how dedicated I was, was. Had the umbrella, talking to my manager, walking through a cemetery. Look at that dedication, yo. And I just feel so good. I feel so happy. And back to inspiration. And this sponsorship, you guys, 
it involves you, and I've never, ever, 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 ever seen a mukbanger do this. Let alone a YouTuber. I can't think of anyone who's done this. Maybe something similar, but I can't name one person who's done this. It's gonna be epic. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited. It is going to be amazing. September, keep your eye open. Hmm. So, always barking at stuff. That's what dogs do. So, anyways, I feel really happy. Let's. Okay. And again, another thank you. Yesterday I was kind of like out of it. Not out of it, but that whole lobster video, I was going to take a good two or three days off. I know I said a week. And then I was like, maybe at least two or three days. The lobster arrived. You guys, that thing was alive. I mean, shout out to, can I just shout out these people? It was a cold collect, a collective group of people on my You Now I live stream. And people do send in tips if they like what they see or if they want to support me or they make me do something I drink or I dance or twerk or whatever. And um, it was a lot of different people that all made the difference. One person who didn't do that, I probably haven't done it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But there are two queens that I have to thank who really carried 80% of that. 80% of the reason as to why. Um, oh, I should get my phone. I want to shout out everyone. Okay, you know who you are. I'm going to get my phone tomorrow. It's tra it's charging. But um, I really do want to... I want to thank you guys. Because they're the reason I got that lobster. And... Shh, get this. Shh, I also got a king crab. The, that giant king crab! That's coming out tomorrow. E, I have to film it tonight or tomorrow. Because this is all I've eaten today. And like I'm not going to stuff myself. So I can do the king crab. I think I'll do it tomorrow, though. After a workout. Okay. Working out. Working out. You guys, you don't need a gym membership. Guess what my gym is? It's nature. <laughs> it's for people who are cheap, or people who don't care, or people who just want to bring in that good oxygen from the trees. Now, sometimes I walk around the city, and, you know, that's nice. I do like looking at stuff. I love... The city's my thing. But, um, yeah... The gym is my city. Uh, the city is my gym. What did I say? The city is my gym. That's a good way to look at it. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a gym membership in order to get healthy. People use that as an excuse, which I did in the past. I'm like, I can't afford Planet Fitness, so I'll just stay fat. What? Mm. Oh. Oh, that is the best sauce. I like it more than the Chick-fil-A sauce, and the Chick-fil-A sauce makes my eyes roll like no other. I think, I'll, and so is the Beloved sauce. I think this is my favorite. It's hard to compare, mm, excuse me. <laughs> it's hard to compare all sauces. Some sauces are for certain things. Like, I wouldn't dip this in Beloved sauce. Well, I could. Ooh, do you guys want to see that? Um, probably not. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That sauce is so good. Again, you get from Red Robin, it's the Chipotle Ranch. I would ask Siri, but again, my phone's charging. People like when I ask Siri, it's really fine. People love to watch me ask Siri for things because she gets it wrong and it makes people laugh. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's nice. What did she call? I was like, what's Nico Cato Avocado doing? And she's like, Nico A Marsha Amar Cuddle, 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 Follow, Cuddle, Follow. <laughs> About cuddling. She thought I was saying a whole different language. I love water. I love life. I love you. I am so excited to announce what I have planned for September now. Ah, I am so excited. Watch. They're going to call me back when this video is over. Oh, they changed your mind. They saw you put eggs on your face. Yeah, they didn't like that. They don't want to sponsor you. Bye. This is also why. Listen. 
I take a risk with my channel. Imagine if you're Walmart, right? And you want to pay someone to talk about you to bring in more customers. It's a fair exchange. The person makes some money, you get lots more customers. And you probably make that money back within the first day because all the people come over. So imagine if you're, you know, browsing YouTube, who do you want to talk about you? And you come across my channel like, oh, this guy looks good. And you click on most popular videos. What's, the, what's this guy known for? And you see me with a knife, you see me shaving my head, you see me breaking down, you see me crying, you see me exposing people. They're like, yeah, no. I'm the type of person that I want to be real, I want to be honest, I want to be funny, I do skits. Mrs. Pickles, imagine if, if Walmart saw my Mrs. Pickles videos. It's hard. Um, or they'll come to me, but they'll offer me a very low price. And if I don't take it, I don't get it at all because they know I might not. This guy's weird, you know? So it's very, very hard for me to get a sponsorship. You know, YouTubers, that's, you feel very important. You have a sponsor or whatever. And, you know, they pay you to say something. And But it's always hard for me. That's fine, though. So anyways, that's why I'm so excited about this, because I don't get them that often. The, lo the last one I had, like real sponsor, was a vacuum cleaner back in April. It's been almost half a year. April, May, June, July, August. That's September 1st tomorrow, or in two days. Wait, what day is today? September's literally the other day. August 28th. Oh, the 28th. Thank you, baby. So, you know what I mean? Half a year, so I get two a year. Hmm. That's better than zero a year. Hmm. But anyways, um, let's have one more of these. And here. So, I'm very excited. I'm hopeful. The ghosts spoke to me. They gave me a sign. I'm like, give me a sign. Boom, my phone rings. I'm like, to news I never hear. I even see this coming. Usually it's like back and forth. Back. They must have been going back and forth, but they don't tell me. So, yeah. So, this lady, she takes a percentage of what I make on YouTube. to do this stuff for me. I'm being very careful because we're not supposed to talk about it, but that's kind of what agents are, managers, whatever. Um, I was just telling Orlin recently too, I'm like, it's a long, every YouTuber has them. Um, they're like one year contracts. So it's not like be like, I haven't had a sponsorship for six months. You suck, bye. I have to keep her there. Um, it's not that, I mean, it's still money. But let's just say I know people who only have like a 2% deal. I know people who do 3%. I know personally someone who just did a 7%. It's not like they're taking 50% of what I make from you. It's very, it's very little, but in the grand scheme of things. But it, I, yeah, I didn't see this coming. And I was, I was just like, I got goosebumps and everything. It was raining. My feet were wet. I didn't care. Uh, I was looking at old tombstones from the 1800s. And I was saying, did I have another life? Then I started questioning, like, God and stuff, and which you shouldn't do in a graveyard because then thunder happened. <gasps> no, I'm joking. Uh, but no, I did think about things like that. I'm like, looking at all the gravestones. Who were these people? What were their lives? They didn't get sponsorships. Maybe they did. Sponsored on the radio. The radio was very popping back in the early 1900s. Uh, when was the radio invented? Shoot. <laughs> when was electricity invented? Seven, the late 1700s, like early 1800s. Late 1700s, right, Orlin? Electricity? Yeah, well, can you look on your phone? I'm curious to know. Uh, mm. 1879? People are very upset with me. I just said, like, it was probably, like, 1779. That doesn't make sense, because that's when the United States was colonized, and they had candles. Okay, that makes more sense. Like, Benjamin Franklin discovered the concept because of that lightning kite experiment. In the 1800s. Yeah, but then Thomas Edison was the one that actually, like, turned it into the light bulb type of thing. I hate you. You're so smart. Shut up. That's Google. Shh. <laughs> I hate you. Don't... 
don't you hate that person, but you're so jealous, but you hate them. <laughs> that's, that's my husband. No, I'm joking. Um, <clears throat> thank you, baby. Thomas Edison forgot all about him. I knew about Ben Franklin, but barely. Thomas Edison lived in Florida. Shh, you're too smart. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Shoot. I ate a lot of food, played violin, and cried. Yeah. My mukbang career, career, let's be honest, just eating. But this whole YouTube thing is so emulent. Is that the word I'm looking for? It's so reflective of who I am as a person and what I've done my whole life. I make a lot of music. I make a lot of drama. Music was my drama. There's drama here. I like to perform. I performed on stage all the time. Again, as a musician, first chair concert master. <clears throat> um... I like to bring emotion out of people. I like to entertain, and I love to eat. Oh shoot! Backstage, I used to eat slices of pizza. One of the best thing about doing the Christmas concert, I told this story already. One of the best thing about doing the Christmas concert when I was growing up, they would order pizza. You know, I would have like four slices, and I was like sixteen. Music and food, best things of life. Other than S, <clears throat> yeah, EX, there's really nothing else better. Music, food, that, tra well, no, traveling's annoying. No one wants to travel. I'm so over traveling. Let's have one more, un no, let's finish this first. So, so good. Oh my god. But yeah, I was looking at the tombstones and I said, what did you do? What the, was I you in a whole different life? Sometimes I want to believe in reincarnation, sometimes I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, well, why is there an exponential number of people coming back if they weren't here to begin with? Where are all these souls coming from? Because we're multiplying like cockroaches. You know, so that doesn't make sense to me. And, you know, when you talk to certain psychics, they're like, oh, you had a past life here. It's like everyone seems to have a past life with the psychics, but how is that possible? Why can't they be like, this is your first time here? Which would make sense because if everyone came back, that means there have always been 7 billion people. There weren't. There's always like 1 billion or, ha or less than that. 10 million in the whole world was once a thing. So, anyways... I was looking at the tombstones and I said that to myself and I'm like, wow. And here I am <clears throat> performing on the internet and I remember par passing something that was like, Robert. Robert, some like old, old last name. It was like Robert, Robert Smith. I don't, what did I say? Like, yeah, I saw, I saw like Sandra. It's names that you don't see very often nowadays. And I'm thinking, like, they want to, how would I explain the internet to these people? How would I have explained that to them? Robert, Sir Michael Robert Smith. Sir Robert Mark Michael Smith passed away in 1801. And it's like, hello, um, I work on the internet now. Like, it's just so funny to me what I do. Huh. So, thank you for sticking with me through the thick and the thin and all the crazies. It's been, um, it's been crazy. <laughs> it's been crazy here on the internet, but one more. One last bite of this. We'll save these for later and give them to someone else. The onion rings are the best. Actually, let's do a mozzarella stick. Why touch both? Let's do both. Um, they don't taste as good anymore if they're not hot. I mean, it's good. It must be hot. Do you want me to microwave them? No. I'm done, honey. I'm starting to get full. This, though, can stay crunchy forever. Mmm. Oh. Mm. I'm flying high right now. My mind is so high. 
so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. No one. I'm happy that people understood me yesterday or two days ago. I didn't really go into again with the whole lobster video. I didn't want to break the mood. Oh, it's a lobster, especially since it was a gift from my my tippers from you now. I didn't want to sit there and complain about and cry all over again. So I didn't really have ex a chance to explain myself. But in this video, you guys are going to hear it. And um, I'm just full of emotion. And again, that it really got to me. I chose to let it affect me. I don't know why I chose. Actually, can I be a victim at, at least once in my life? Like, <laughs> I know people are like, he's always a victim. Um, I usually understand that things are my choice and I try hard and I make new content and I change my ways and I apologize. But sometimes it's like, it just happens. And it was not in my control. I just, I was so excited about the sandwich. Everyone ridiculed me. And then I felt sad. I mean, it's just kind of like A plus B equals C. It was very simple. Uh, cause action. So, I'm sorry. Um, I need to just not... Know what I did in the last two videos? I might do it in this video too, so if you are confused, let me tell you. I just... Um, nah. I was just going to say I just was going to delete comments, but, or hide the comments, but, no, I'm going to hide the comments. Okay, you guys, well, <sighs> I am done, but not with YouTube. Hopefully, I stay strong, and, um, stay healthy, too. You guys know I've gained some water weight. I call it water weight. We all know it's not water weight. If people think I know, if people think they think that I think that it's really just... Yes, a lot of it's water weight, considering the salt and the carbohydrates, but that's still probably 50%. The other 50% is just stored back up uh, energy. <laughs> We're going to call it energy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm ready to start sticking on track. And I tried this, but I kept falling off. Like, every day I'm going to go exercise and I fall off. If I can do this for 30 days, it becomes a habit. And then it just becomes part of my routine. And I have to do it first thing in the morning. Rise or shine. Rain or shine, rise. Do it when I rise. If I wake up at 3 p.m., guess who's walking it from 3 to 4? Me. No exceptions. And today, I, I really proved it to myself that I'm <clears throat> I'm happy. I was, again, talking to some of my mukbang friends who also eat all the time. And they're very healthy. It's not that I'm unhealthy. I don't have diabetes. I don't have, like, blood pressure issues or cholesterol and stuff. Yeah, I'm chunky, but I'm not, like, crippling chunky. <laughs> it's just saying, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just... I've gained weight. And um, it hasn't led to something drastic but I don't want it to and I don't want to wait for something terrible to happen for me to be like oh yeah let's address it now let me prevent it preventative approach works wonders a lot of people don't think about it enough and literally just talk I'm doing some things which I don't want to talk about on camera and now it's not throwing up my food so don't you even think that I would never ever ever I know some people do that that is not my thing Clearly, <laughs> I can, you know, and I'll say it's probably for, well, you guys know I have like a medical phobia, so I can't physically want, I don't even want to think about that, that's just not me, but um, again, I also, do, I will never do that for vain reasons, my hair, people who do that, their hair starts going bad, they have to get lots of hair extensions to make it look like they have a lot of hair, when they don't, they get hair extensions, okay, I'm just saying, um, or their teeth, they get veneers, or they get, or they don't do anything and their teeth start looking bad. You can usually see in their throat, if you if you see that little bump in their throat, like people when they're like 70 get it because your body fat's just so low, um, cause you're about to die. You know, like 70 year old people, maybe 60s, usually not, it's like 70 plus. There's, you can see their Adam's apple really good and you see like, you can see their whole trachea. Um, their knuckles, there's, ew, it's kind of gross to even think about that. Um, Again, I know people who do it. I would never. And I'm not gonna cancel I'm not gonna single anyone out, but um that so don't think that, don't start that rumor, please. I'm just putting I'm putting this out there for my own sake, not for you know creating drama. I'm just putting this out for for my sake. Don't go around saying Nick's throwing up his food now so he can stay skinny. No. No 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 no. I don't believe in that, number one. People can get heart I know, I know someone who had a heart attack and they're on YouTube and they eat. I'm not gonna say who. And they're not old. And they had a heart attack from a lot of eating. Um, and do you know why it happened? It's because this person threw up their food all the time. And she had such a severe electrolyte imbalance from it that it caused her heart to attack. Um, no, you're better off working off your food. It's more natural. 
I mean, yeah, you're eating junk, but work it off. Drink a lot of water. Have a lot of healthy food on top of it. It's way better than trying to throw it up because yeah, it might be like quick instant. Ooh, look, I'm still a mukbugger or I'm still skinny or whatever. But um, she could have died. I mean, when I found out about this, I was like, <sighs> don't throw it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. And you're, I'm also married to someone who's had his own battles with eating disorders, which he's talked about and it's hard and you, I mean, I've never, people think I have one because I eat junk on camera. I swear I don't. I'm I'm happy. I'm blessed. I don't. I could stop tomorrow. You know what I mean? I don't feel addicted to this at all. I enjoy it um, and I crave it, but it's also my job and I'm able to draw that line, whereas I think some people can't. Um, so... Anyways, yeah, that's not part of it, but it's other things I'm interplaying into my diet on top of what I already do with the vegetables and, oh, eating from the garden, which is so wonderful, and lots of water, and there's some other things too, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling so hopeful, so hopeful, did I say helpful? Hopeful with what's happening in my life despite the drama a couple days ago. Yeah. And thank you so much to all the love and all the support that I received. It's amazing. It really lightened my spirits. I'm like, okay, look at all these people standing up for me. Okay, it can't be that bad. Why did I focus on those those little people? Yeah, you know, like those, ugh. And it's not the people who just left a comment about criticism, because I left those. It's the ones I deleted that were awful, awful. Just got into my head and made me hate myself. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. I'm here for you tomorrow. I'm gonna go have a salad from the garden. I still feel really good. Do you know why? Because I exercise. If you exercise right before eating, you metabolize the food a lot better. That's another trick too. Um, trust me, I'm Reva and yeah, it just feels right and I'm just so happy and it really does help my mental health. I know people um, don't think, oh, exercise is the best antidepressant, but it really is. And I'm not, if you have chronic depression, I'm not saying it's going to cure it. I'm saying it makes such a difference that why would you not do it? And that's just for the mental, let alone the cardiovascular and the organ health and whatever. The way you sleep, all that stuff. So, I'm happy. And I really want to document this to help me stay on track, but I'm so afraid because if I do it and I slip up, everyone's going to come for me. I see it with other YouTubers. They're like, I'm a weight loss channel. And then they they gain a little weight and you're like, oh, they lied. It's like, no, they probably gave up or something happened or they changed their mind or they did the wrong thing, but they still tried and everyone dismisses that. And like, I don't want to be that. <laughs> I don't want to be that person, but I really would. W I'm thinking about doing live streams on my you now account. So make sure you follow me there. I mentioned them like two or three times in this video already. It's like a good one to 200 people every time I go live, which is any time of the day. I might go live after this video. Um, and I just connect with people. I would love to do it while I'm out and about. Go live stream, live stream. Or just let people know I'm doing it so I can feel it accounted, accountable. You know what I mean? People, I really shouldn't make a whole nother vlog channel. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Well, no, I did tell you that, but I don't know if I elaborate on it. One of my managers told me to make Nikocado 4, but not call it Nikocado 4. Come up with a name for me. I think I did ask you guys to help me come up with a name. It's for vlogs and stuff, and I don't like vlogging, but it's for other types of videos. Unboxing my MacBook, which I did on Orland's channel. I don't want to dump everything on Orland's channel. I like doing it sometimes to help him bring in some, some subscribers and views, but I really need my own place to do something non-food related, and I don't have that, but I really need to. It's just wasted potential. You know what I mean? Once a week, talk about something, but I don't feel like putting food in my face. I'm a talker. React to something. Do a response to someone calling me out. You know what I mean? But I don't want to have to stuff food in my face. Maybe I don't feel hungry that day, but I need to get this video out. You know what I mean? I don't want to deviate from what I do on my channels. One, two, and three. Nikakata, one, two, and three. And Noodle King. That's all for food. I need another channel where it's just maybe other things Nick or um, Nikakato other. I don't know help avocado something. I should have Nikocado avocado in the title somewhere in the thing. Nikocado avocado vlogs. That makes most sense. Or just Nikocado vlogs. That makes a lot of sense too. And then I don't have to do vlogs. It could be anything. A reaction could be under the vlog channel. So maybe I'll just call it Nikocado vlogs. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. I feel happy and energized. Again, I'm liking my workout routine. I am loving the positivity. I'm so excited for something that's happening in September. You guys are gonna freak out. It, no one has done this. You're gonna freak out. 
Um, oh my god. And stay tuned. More is on the way. Thank you for your time. Bye!